I'm very excited about Pride Week. I'm not even gay, and it's exciting. I just like the thought of, it's great. I like rainbows. I like the color. Yep. Uh, I like yeah, they got all the good names. They took our great names, like Lance and Bruce. What? Is that, is that Homer Simpson. The, yeah. Oh, yeah? Hey, does he that, said the gay people took the good names? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they get to choose their names. Yeah. I would be named Sasha. No, Tristan. Have you read The Da Vinci Code? No. It's pretty good. No, read. I'm halfway through it. It's talking about how the, the church has suppressed uh, the worshipping of the, the woman. Women used to be this sort of thing that was worshipped and respected, and now we, we treat them right. as, as dirty. We say, oh, no, Eve was the, uh, caused the downfall well, of the think about world. that. That kind of translates to cars. It sure does. She runs good. Yes, people refer to their cars as women. Or it uses too much. She's a pig. Too much gas, right? So what are we asking here today, Tony? What are we asking our callers to well, call in and discuss? Actually, you know, we were talking about getting rid of the Toronto streetcars, mm. right? And you know my beef with that is the fact that on the mornings when I'm heading over to the big corporation, uh, I drive along. <laughs> Don't give me that look. What do you drive, I drive Tony? along King Street. Your huge well, truck. Have, no, because listen to me. Okay. I, you know what I do. I'm, I'm at 12, 13 jobs a day. Okay. Right? And you need a massive truck. I have to. No, it's not massive. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. It you drive not. a house. What is this? What, it is not. What, what is your truck? It's a six-cylinder. What is it called? What, the, what's the a, brand? It's a GM. A GM what? Like Trailblazer. Destructor? The Trailblazer. <laughs> you, you need to blaze a lot of trails on what's, Young Street? What's wrong You're with driving that? over the, the, the pebbles? Well, Why don't you me? drive a smart car? Oh yeah, right. At least get a hybrid truck. I I wanted one. They hadn't made they hadn't made it in the size I want yet. The size. Well, I have to haul gear when I'm playing with the band. Uh, By the way, next week we'll be playing. Okay, I'll fill you in. I'll come see you. Yeah, you can tell the story, folks. I get in, and Jamie, the producer, was in the studio. Well, actually, he was in the studio when I got here, but. He went back to his office, and I go, what's up? Oh, Josh walked in. He tried to... He, he manhandled all my recycling. Manhandled. You recycling. did. It's not recycling. He was just throwing it out. So I saved the paper from the garbage. I made a big pile of the paper. You lying sack. What are you saying? You... What? It's, they just have garbage cans. They're throwing out paper here. You don't here. know that. J- I do Jamie know that. likes to recycle. It's, he does not like to recycle. Going, no, he did. You're he, sitting he, there, you're going, oh, it's so, they don't really recycle. Like, what, they don't really recycle? Yeah, what does that to, mean? You went, it's the, all like, you went up to the building maintenance people. You said, yeah. I said, oh, is this recycling? They go, yes. Yeah, and they put it in the clear bag. <laughs> Which I goes took in all the, the paper. Yeah, it goes in the garbage. Well, then that's wrong. It's ridiculous. Then well, I'll take the paper outside to the uh, the recycling bins that they have on the street. Absolutely, I will. Where the Save city a picks it up and doesn't recycle. Yeah, that's right. The city picks it up and doesn't recycle. It's they this don't. huge. Scam. What are you talking about? Freak shop, I'm telling you. Why would they do that? Why would they have recycling bins say, oh, yes, we're recycling and because we're not? Because they want to look like good citizens. What are you saying? They don't care about looking like good citizens. This is the city of Toronto. It's so a mess. this is what you're saying. You're trying to spread the, the, the opinion that. They're not really recycling, so don't bother recycling because not, it's they're not doing no. it. What do you have to gain? I recycle. You know that. I told you. Listen, you. So talk, what are you saying? They do what, recycle and you what, recycle, but they don't. What yeah. Are, what are you talking uh, about? Look, well, I made an effort to change all my uh, light bulbs out to Absolutely. your to my your, compact fluorescent bulbs. That's fantastic. Yeah. So let me get all the vitamin A sucked out of my body because of that. But at least I'm giving up something for you. For me, that's right. Because you don't breathe the same air that I do. Well, heck no, you're downtown. Do you know that you change one light bulb from a regular incandescent to sort of the more efficient compact fluorescent? That saves 1,300 pounds of pollution. Just the one light bulb over its life. It's crazy. It's awesome. I think you found your calling, man, because everything else you're dumb about, but this you know. I think it's all right. I think if you're stupid enough to be driving your boat drunk, then you shouldn't have a driver's license. First of all, if you are driving drunk a boat, you are a moron. But secondly, what if, and I'm playing the (laughs) devil's advocate. Oh, my God, you scared me. (laughs) Sorry. Wow, don't do that. What if. Oh, my goodness. I know. What if. Yep. What if I'm a boater, but I don't even drive a car. I don't have a driver's license. How is that fair to the people who have cars? Yeah. What are they going to do? Take away their trike license? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess they can't drive the boat. Can you get a boating license if you don't have a car's license? Sure I guess you can. Really? There's no license. There's no. You don't. You don't need a license to have a boat. Any freak can drive it. Huh? Including me. Hi, I'm Josh Rackless. and I'm Tony Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> we just did impressions of each other, which really sounded stupid. We should go as each other for Halloween. But I don't know if I can make <laughs> myself unattractive. <laughs> Nice. Uh, nice. Zing. Give us a call. I you're a good writer. No, I'm not. 
We're going to start off tonight talking about uh, grass. Oh, yeah, they had a story in the news earlier about uh, some pot being moved over. Not, not your kind of grass, Tony. Oh. Um, actually, lawns. Uh, grass lawns. Oh, thanks. You it's, had to bring that up, huh? Because well, you know where my wife is. She's out right now pulling dandelions because all the neighbors is going, You have dandelions and you're blowing on our lawn. It's your fault. <laughs> okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe not what that What are bad. you on? What is grounds for uh, proper dismissal? Okay, here's a good one. Mm -hmm. If you were to say the word <laughs> on the air, mm -hmm. gone. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, then you're out of here. And... <laughs> What about gun? Boop? See, I, I wanted to go on with that, but it's not really funny, and I don't know what you're talking about. If you swear, you're silly. Oh, that was swearing. I was swearing. In it. Oh, and it was sounding like we were bleeping you out? No, I was just being wacky. Oh, okay. That's funny. Bourbon, one scotch, one beer. You're listening to The Jim Richards Show on News Talk 1010 CFRB. Sitting in is Tony Daniels and Josh Rackless. Good choice, Dean. Dean's the guy that chooses the music to do little intros. That's and right. all the other stuff. And every, pretty much everything, really. He's Except actually... Jamie's stuff. Right? He's doing our voices right now with the computer. Yeah. Hello, I'm Josh Reckles. And I'm Tony Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about whether alcohol is something we should be allowing in movie theaters in order to increase attendance. Mm hmm I say, sure, why not? I think it'd be cool. Go watch a movie. Have a couple. Yeah? Yeah. As long as you're not driving. So that's what they're trying to do in the Chicago Tribune today, uh, saying movie sales are down, uh, apparently Mission Impossible 3, although it cost uh, twice as much, this is just my own knowledge, I'm not reading this from the article, <laughs> but it cost twice as much as the predecessors, it's made less money than 1 and 2, although that might just so be far. because Tom Cruise is insane. No, I think in the opening weekend. Don't say that, I like Tom. Sorry, you do? Yeah. What about him? He's good. He's good. He's an actor. You should be a politician. That's just so eloquent. I like Tom. He's good. He's good. He drinks. No. <laughs> he drinks. You drink with Tom. That'd be pretty cool. You go in and watch a movie. Relax. Cause don't you watch movies at home and have a little nip and tuck? What? Is that a term for drinking? Mm-hmm. Or do I get a facelift while I'm watching a movie at home? <laughs> you Four, keep that up, you will get a facelift. 416-872-1010, star 8255, 1-800-561-CFRB. What are you doing, Phil? Phil, are you moving? Are you building a shelf? What's going on? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I like to go with my girlfriend most of the times, but... Oh, uh, well, now you're bragging. you got a girlfriend. You know I, nothing about sports. No, I, I don't. believe it. I don't, I just, they just, you know what? It just doesn't interest me at all. Why? I try. I wish. I could get excited. But you're not really competitive. Except when it comes to recycling. I'm a bit competitive. I, well, no, you're right. I'm not. But I, I played sports in high school a bit. I, you know, I was what? on the football team. I didn't actually play. <laughs> he was the water boy. I, 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 he was. I wanted to say I rehearsed with him. What, is, what <laughs> no, is it called? And, Practice? And maybe you shouldn't use the term, I was on the football team. Because <laughs> that sounds a little nasty. Well, that's, uh, it's funny. It brings me to the rugby team because I was the hooker. Uh, and I remember I asked, uh, I asked Go another ahead, guy. I, said, I asked another guy on the team. I said, "They may be the hooker. What does that mean?" He, he said, "He means it means oh, you keep man. the team happy." I'm like, "Really?" Uh, so, so we've we've got a little bit of a treat for you, and this is a, this. <laughs> that's my excited voice. This is a fun thing for sports, so that you can get uh, you know the idea. It's like a little news magazine, a little primer on what's going on this week in the news, called National Pastime, and it's going to teach you a little about sports, Josh. And uh, you're playing Brant's Crippen in this. That's right. I'm the voice, and you're the voice of all the other funny people. Exactly. So let's give it a listen. Stanley Cup, Oilers hoping not to get drilled. NBA Finals, Dallas preps for a shock attack. World Cup invades Germany. All this and more on National Pastime with your hosts, Brant Crippen and Scotia Robbins. Hello, I'm Brant Crippen. And I'm Scotia Robbins. Welcome to National Pastime, a review of the news, people, and events making headlines in the world of sports. Leading off, the Edmonton Oilers and Carolina Hurricanes continue their cross-border battle for hockey supremacy. Today, President Bush commented on the series. You said Bush. <laughs> Sorry. With the Hurricanes of Carolina, I promise to get food and water to all those poor Carol Lion Kings. <laughs> 